like a rainbow. Yeah, what up? My name is Sound Soul Tan, and you are tuned in to 9GZ Runs on E Extra. You know how it be now. This one goes out to all my honorable ladies out there. Sound Soul Tan, exactly. See you up in the club. I am one kind of person that I don't really understand how to define myself. I just let, you know, my work speak for me. And uh, if you ask me what got me into music, I'll say music came into me before I went into music. So, you know, I started music like 15 years ago or 17 years ago. <laughs> you ask me how old, I, how old am I now? <laughs> well, but seriously, I started music quite, you know, quite early and I was that kind of person that was an introvert, but you know, a lot of ginger came from my brother that was gingering me, pushing me from the back that, yo, you can do this thing. Regardless how young you were, uh, young you are, you can, you know, put in more work and do this thing. So I started doing, you know, recording in 1995, you know, alongside Robert D. We started recording and doing some songs, you know, on his own album, on his own project. I started going for Talent Hunts. Uh, 99, I won Miss and I just grabbed the mic. 2000, I won Nigerian Song Festival. That was, yeah, some very long time ago in Bethlehem. <laughs> but yes, uh, you know, in 2000 and 2001, I recorded and released the video to Mathematics and, you know, the rest is history. My first album was titled, in brackets, Sounds of the Frustrated Mouths. Because I told myself I would name my first album which is very significant uh, to my style and how I came into the industry. I would name the album after the most used word in Nigeria. And I went to somewhere like Oshodi, it used to be very crowded. I don't know about now, we're packed on there. But you know, before it used to be very crowded and I wanted to take the word that was constantly on every tribe's mouth, you know. And all I could get was that was the most commonly used word then. So I took it back home and I tried to coin out a spelling for it because I don't think anybody had spelled until that time. And nobody had spelled. I was the one. You can quote me. And all the people spelling it on social media, everybody knows that I started that spelling. K P S S H E W was the spelling, and uh, that was the first title of my album. And now we have me. You know, you have to call it like me because it's triple M E. And it's me, my mouth, and I. People ask me what's the meaning. I say anything. I want to be like Moses. Uh, show my people them to the promised land. Burn them and notice something. Uh, people will try and don't they on the ground. I see them, I jar. Put them from far. Me, I get this government people. Rise up, Ninja. Raise your hands far. So right now, um, I'm backing on releasing on my uh, releasing my sixth album, which is me. You see, I emphasize me. Now three M's, did you? Me, my mouth, and I. Uh -huh. People ask me what's the meaning of me. It's me, my mouth, and I. Anything my eyes, my mouth, more yeah, you know. You were always telling me back then when I was to do a lot of uh, controversial songs against the government and everything. They asked me why I was inspirational to being vocal. I'm just like, nobody's talking about, you know, you know, the government, they're not checking them and nobody's talking about stuff that really matter to us. And that's why I always come up with that. And no, uh, no difference in this album as well. Yes, I do a lot of commercial and um, interesting danceable songs. I still put in my messages and make sure you know we drive on the point of the day yes on this sixth album I'm, i worked with a lot of people and uh, prior to that i've been working on Nigerian ninja project and working with a lot of my new acts that are really ready to bombard the industry and bomb the industry of no vocal you know we are ready to take over and I have a very wonderful singer in the background you can hear a song young gracie is here to stay a lot of people have given their you know thumbs up for her that she's about the next big thing in the music industry for a female act yes and of course you know my prodigy is making waves and doing nothing shay shay 
and in the Nigerian Ninja record label we have a monster that we're about to unleash we've started unleashing him his video is running even on 90z uh, karma <laughs> the rapper light us up put him up put him up now put him up put him up now uh -uh, yeah put him up put him up now put him up put your lighters up got no time to say what's up we can't go on like this yo get my money get my money like this yo i said put your lighters up I've been on runs on the extra and uh, we're still here doing our runs as usual in the studios working with this very great talented young man from PH City. His name is OGB. Get familiar. When you get the album, you hear a lot of songs like, like me, Cosmo, like you. The one that produced it. And uh, yeah, OGB produced a lot of songs and he's producing songs for Karma, producing songs for Young Grace and Blacker and also, of course, Baba D. And we're here always doing our runs working tirelessly you can see young grace is in the studio voicing you see even though she depose like saying she depose but she's voicing trust me even, i don't do this you know uh, so <laughs> yeah and of course karma the rapper you already know if you don't know ask your neighbor karma the rapper put your lighters up <laughs> 